Just wanted to set this video up a little bit. I uh, guess I found a way to keep the gov lock differential locked up for a higher mile per hour, which I think it only works on the 14 bolt because the 14 bolts have a pin sticking in the side that you can wrap the spring around. And uh, some of the 10 bolt ones don't have that pin, but you can still, so you have to take it apart, but you can still wrap the spring one more time. And you'll see what I'm talking about when I get under there. Tighten that spring up and it should serve the same purpose as keeping the differential locked up uh, to a higher mile per hour before it goes back to open. So <clears throat> this little weight right here spins when you're, uh, when one wheel spins faster than the other and it catches on something it makes uh there's clutches on this side maybe clutches on this side too but engage is something that uh, lets those pushes those clutches together right uh gives you the positive traction so but when you get above about 20 miles an hour i guess as a safety feature this big weight it swings out i don't know if you can see that yeah it swings out and uh, goes back to open mode. You know, it works as an open differential, right? So this, and you can see the spring that's putting tension on this big weight. It used to land right here, right? So I bent it around and through there. I don't know if you can see. I just lost my flashlight. But anyway, so I bent it around there so that there's much more tension, which would make this thing, because I was having trouble with, uh, you know, it, it both wheels spinning pretty good and then still spinning after 20 miles an hour or even less, and then go back to open and uh, not work right. So uh, maybe this, putting more t spring tension on this will keep this weight from opening up until say, I hope 40 miles an hour or so. Uh, It'd be good if it did still work as intended because it would, you know, eliminate wear on these clutches while it was in the open, open position. But so, uh, to paraphrase, I just bent this spring from here around here, putting more tension on that spring, putting more tension on this weight right here. So, I'm going to put some gasket maker on the housing, put the cover on it, fill it up with oil. And put some miles on it and I'll report back as to if it works or if it blows up. And if it blows up, I'll throw a true track in here and keep going. Cool.